from the very specific place in Austin named in the pre-show, our security system is Brian's Giant Dump, and it's going to be a great night. Now, fresh from their first visit to Zombo.com, here's your host, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Justin Robert Young, I just had this idea. What are you What's doing? What's that, Brian? What are you doing? Why are you doing you, this? You you have two dicks. I got two dicks, <laughs> and they both are very heavy. And I lift them to get my arms strong. <laughs> That's your workout: is lifting your. I heavy lift both dick. of my heavy dicks. My dicks are made of 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 carbonite. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's heavy, no, that's right? Light. That's light. I mean, my uh, dicks uh, are lead. They're made of lead. Uh, lead. Old double old lead dick. Double lead dick. Double yeah, lead yeah. dick. I, I remember that was that. the name of the Led Zeppelin, but then they pussied out because they don't lift these dicks. <laughs> like, maybe it should be a Le- Zeppelin instead of two dicks. And I was like, all right, whatever, artistic decision. Like, I'm not, like, like, not going to tell you what hey, to man, do. I just wrote a song. It goes like this. And that's all I had. So they so then Robert Plant was like, hey, I have a more I have a better idea. Let's make it Led Zeppelin, and I was like, well, look, I do have two very heavy lead dicks, but I guess you're the artist, so there we go. That's how Led Zeppelin became Led Zeppelin. Uh, Brian, how are you doing? Uh, hot damn, man. Uh, I was in a different part of the continent yesterday, and now I'm here. Yeah, you have not done that in a very long time. 18 months. It's been 18 months. 18 years. 18, 18 years. months. 18 months yeah. when I found out the state wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. I forgot that you actually texted me about Gold Digger yeah, right? while you were out there. <laughs> uh, 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 so, so uh, how was it? How was traveling? It was, it was great. It was great. Uh, there was something about like getting on a Southwest Airlines flight and going back to the second to the last row, getting in that same seat that – is the same on this is all and by the way the... For, for people who do not know this this is your ritual right like no matter what because uh, uh southwest is first come first serve you go to the same seat in the back doesn't matter whether it's full or empty correct it's never taken you will always run back for it and that's that's your thing that's and, your ritual. and 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 part of the reason for that is i want to take advantage of like the five whole minutes to to kibitz with whoever's working the back part of the plane so i can get better coverage or service or whatever i'm like oh you am or pm service where are you based out of oh so you know all the oh, yeah 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 there's a friend of ours yes we don't need to name him brett uh but he had a thing when he was flying back and forth cross country a lot yeah that I don't even know if it's fair or nice to do. Yeah. In fact, if anybody is a flight attendant, maybe you can tell us whether or not you would find this charming or mean. But would just say to flight attendants, oh, my God, it's great to see you again. Oh, put them on defense. Well, no, and now they're just like, if somebody's nice and then they go about it, they're not looking to make a conversation. No, that's now brilliant. You're their, now you're their favorite person on the planet. Oh, they my God. They are bringing God. you things. Because now they feel bad that they don't remember who you are. Okay, so so the only version of that you seem too happy about that for anybody who's just listening yeah, on audio. No, no, no. Brian immediately went, yeah, was yeah. bouncing on his heels, thinking about all the free things he's going to get from deploying this. Well, well, because I always play defense on that maneuver. Like somebody who says, like, "Oh, hello," and 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 I, I never know whether or not I know somebody. So it's like uh, I was told that the politician's trick is to say. Oh my goodness, it's so great to see you again. Or or to see yes, you. Yes, or yes, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, uh, and then that way, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to need a moment to process. <laughs> How about the power, the raw power that comes along with yes, it's so great yes. to see you again? Are you aware of the power of shadows? <laughs> Lock it in, Daniel. Uh, hey man, so uh, uh, how was your week staying in the same state for the whole last seven Don't days? Don't fucking show off. Let's just go to our topics. Okay. Bryce, what's our first topic? Our first topic uh, is 
Bum, bum, bum. Chickens <laughs> and elevators. Okay, so sometimes something organically happens that's so good that as awkward as it is in the moment, there's some part of my brain that is just like, so good, so good, so good. Yeah. Lock it in. Lock it in, Daniel. Uh, so uh, I, 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 on my mom's side, a whole bunch of cousins, but there are three that are all brothers, Tom, Bob, and Jim, which yeah. sounds like I'm making up generic names. And this story is so good that I actually said, there's no way I don't tell this story on my comedy podcast. Would you like me to change your names? And uh, uh, Bob's wife, uh, no, Jim's wife, Ann, said their name is so generic, it won't be a problem. It wouldn't matter. Correct. It wouldn't okay, matter. Okay. Gotcha. So, so uh, uh, Tom and I uh, have bonded over the years because he was the first to have a family, and, and, and so we talk a lot of dad stuff and all that stuff. Uh, uh, Bob and Jim, uh, uh, my grandfather was a, an electrical engineer who worked for a elevator company, for the Otis Ele Elevator Company. Yeah. Um, uh, Bob and Jim are also both uh, electrical engineers. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I really, really hope that you would have called them elevator men. Like, <laughs> well, Bob and Jim were also elevator men, elevator as their men. father was. Yeah, they, they, they were elevator men. <laughs> uh, they like to think that they would grab somebody down at the lowest point of their life and bring them <laughs> way up. up. <laughs> that was just doing a sermon. <laughs> well, I'd we like all to think know the elevator men in our lives, and the <laughs> biggest elevator man is Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, some may call him a mere carpenter, but I like to think that he elevated all of us. I like to think that he made an elevator out of wood. And he elevates so, all of us. Uh, so, so I'm talking to Tom, the oldest yeah. of the three. I'm like, uh, who I've talked to the most, and I'm like, uh, hey, uh, what are what are your brothers up to? And he's like, uh, yeah, well, you know, they're both electrical engineers. One of them uh, is also in the elevator biz. Uh, the other one of them uh, works in chickens. And I was like. Uh, well, what do you mean? And he's like, well, you know, they've got all these systems. Uh, the chickens, they come in, they're processed, and then they become meat. And uh, and I'm like, oh, go on. I, you know, I don't know what. Initially, I was like, oh, that's that. Nah. Don't know what I was expecting uh, <laughs> yeah. when you say that you work at chickens. I, right? Yeah. Okay. And, 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 Tracks. And, 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 and so uh, I hear a little bit about like. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, uh, this one company does three percent of all of the processing of chickens yeah. uh, uh, out there. And, uh, and it's like, uh, as a matter of fact, it's a bit of a big deal when the the chickens who show up are not of the right size. Maybe they're too small or too large. It becomes complicated for the machinery because to be processed, processed they need to be the right size, yeah. right? And so, and I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, like, motherfucker, this dude is fucking running a head chopping machine and and needs to make sure that all the chickens are the right size so all the heads get chopped and yeah. everything is lubricated the right way and uh, electrical engineering and all that stuff yeah and so i'm just like holy shit and the more i hear and, and then he goes on to say like um yeah did you know that from egg to fully ready for processing is six weeks i'm like holy really it's like, yeah, because people don't want tough meat. They want soft, tender meat, meat. and all this. Yeah. And I'm fascinated by all this. And so, yeah. and so, so we finally get to this point where, uh, I don't know, second, third day into the uh, uh, Hold on, wait, reunion. Hold on, pause it right here. Bryce, remind me to text my wife to not listen to this episode. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. So uh, I'm talking to Bob, and Bob, Bob is of the three – so, so, so Tom's, uh, let, 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 let's set the oldest Tom as sort of um, uh, 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 the base level. Yeah. Uh, Bob is quieter, more okay. introverted, yep. more content to watch interactions and stuff. Uh, uh, the youngest, Jim, is a, a very extroverted, like yours truly. And then, uh, uh, and so I'm talking to Bob and I'm like, so Tom was telling me about your job. And that's got to be amazing, uh, looking over his shoulder at all the teenage kids in the background. Yeah. And Bob's like, uh, oh, yeah? yeah? I don't know if it's that amazing. And I say, uh, well, I, um, I mean, there's a lot going on there. He's like, oh, yeah, no, there's a lot going on. And, uh, and, and, and I go on to say, well, 
like, was there a moment when you kind of saw the immensity of the operation and really had a moment? Yeah. And Pulled he's back. Like, he's realized like, realized it. He's like, not, not, not really. It was. You got to be like, man, you are a cold blooded motherfucker. Look at <laughs> but, you. God a, damn. Well, and so I asked. I, yeah. like, I was like, I mean, there's a lot going on. I mean, surely you, it must have affected you. And he says, uh, well, I'm more on the corporate side now, more about. Because it's a system. Pushing papers. You got to like, order the thing. For him, it's just a spreadsheet now. It's just like, like oh, like 78% sure sprocket the efficiency. Or yeah. This shit goes on for 10 full minutes. So you're doing a, you're do, you want to get to the point where like, what's it like to judge your worth as a business person on how many chickens heads get cut off per minute? Ding, ding, ding. Right. And I get to the point where I say, well, how much of it is biological versus mechanical? Yeah. And he says, what do you mean? And I was like, well, you're the motherfucker who cuts <laughs> heads off for a living, dude. <laughs> right? And so I get It's about, like, I have the same questions to you as I have the people who are executing the French Revolution. <laughs> right. I have the exact same questions. So I start to elaborate. I'm like, well, I was told... Tom told me something crazy, like it was only six weeks from egg to full-size chickens. Yeah. And then there's a pause. Uh Uh-huh. And then over Bob's shoulder, Jim smiles, removes the breakfast taco from his mouth, turns to me and says, I'm chickens, he's elevator. That and, is and, that and, is and, the I he's the DJ I'm the rapper of our generation and, chickens and, and elevators At that point knowing Jimmy I was just like oh hey what's it like to see all them heads get cut off Yeah <laughs> like it was not a thing Not a thing you didn't have to you didn't have to dance around it That's amazing Bryce what's our next topic Our next topic Did you know but did you know? This sounds like a Mikey thing. It's not a Mikey thing. Although, I don't know whether or not Mikey would enjoy it. Uh, uh, this was a discovery Just that I made. Just all the chicken's heads getting caught, chopped off. I would dare say it's more shocking. Let me, more shocking. Let me grab a beer. You keep going. Go grab ahead. a beer. Well, uh, I'm going to ask you questions that you're going to have to have answers for when you come back. How familiar are you with the song... Because I got high from Afro Man. Uh, I know it for two reasons. One okay. is because Austin legend Andy Langer uh, played it on his show, The Next Big Thing, saying flat out, I don't think this is a very good song, but I can tell you for a fact, it will be very, very popular. And then he played it, right? And it was. Yes. Very, very, yeah, very yeah. popular. As popular as a song, a novelty song can get in, in that era. Correct. Right? Yeah. Played on radio, played in dorm rooms, played in a lot of places. Yeah. I was going to go in a glass. But did you know? Do you know anything strange about that song? I mean, outside of the weird fourth act where he becomes a quadriplegic. There's that. There's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that how the weirdest you think that song gets? Uh, the only other thing that I could think of as weird is uh, that was used in a Kevin Smith movie, and Kevin Smith didn't smoke dope at the time. <sighs> Wait, am I close? Am I getting close? No, you don't know it. Oh, you don't know it. Oh, if you knew it, one... you would have. it would have been the first thing you said. Once you see it, you will never be able to unsee it. And I don't even know if anybody in the chat room has it. But we were in the karaoke room on Saturday. Yes. Somebody sings Because I Got High. Yes. And there is a lyric. Yes. That, Brian, will shock you. Uh, what? F word, N word, R word. Bryce. We've, so we've got, uh, we've got the karaoke. Uh, this is the karaoke version. From our friends at Karaoke on Vivo. Uh, uh, our friends. <laughs> let's, let's take a listen here to Because I Got High, the karaoke version. Because I'm high. Yeah. Because I'm high. It because I'm high. So this is near the end of the song. Yeah. Where they're saying, because yeah. I'm high. Yeah. 
Well, name is that. Wait, here, pause it, pause it, pause it. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, Bryce, go back a couple seconds. Brian, can you please do karaoke for Because I Got High? This yeah. is a totally normal thing that we yep. always do on the show. This it's is a fun little thing. Tuesday. A fun little thing. Go. Yeah. Hi. Well, my name's Zafra Man, and I'm from East Palmdale. And I'll be. What? Okay, hold on. Yeah, pause it right there. I think it's, uh, and I'll be toking, uh, uh, I be smoking is bomb as hell. Bomb as hell, yes. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be toking, I'll be smoking, bomb as hell. hell. Yeah, give or take. Don't believe it when <laughs> Hitler, like that's what I said. <laughs> Sorry, was, was, was this a disputed thing that he had to finally clear up with his magnum opus? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> let's, let's make sure, no, give, it? roll it back. <laughs> Brian, give it the give it the singing that it deserves. Give it the singing that it deserves. Yeah. Excellent delivery. I don't believe in Hitler, that's what I said. So all you skins, please give me more head. The end of a song! Oh, the final By the lyrics way, of the racist, song! Please suck my dick. Yes! <laughs> How on earth? This is one of the most mind-blowing, like, Bernstein Bears, Mandela <laughs> effect things that I have ever experienced in my entire life. But apparently, the massive hit novelty song, Because I Got High, right. at the end, he says, by Afro the way, Man says, I'm I don't actively, believe in Hitler. He says, I'm actively submitting a request for anyone who shaved their head to suck my dick. <laughs> what, beyond because I got high. Because I got high. But apparently, you do it because he doesn't believe in Hitler? Well, I mean, uh, uh, oh. he denies the existence of Hitler. Right, hold on, I'm trying to because figure out. Because, by the, the way, normally when people deny things about that period of time, gestures broadly, it's not accepted <laughs> as a funny thing that would be in a novelty song. <laughs> Normally I'm a Baptist, but all you atheists want to suck my dick because I believe in God. Well, no, you know, he would. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> you want to know what? I was going to challenge you, but it makes as much sense. I mean, like, can, how on earth could this have been that popular of a song and nobody mentions that he denies the existence of Hitler at the end? I mean, he, he, he doesn't deny the existence. He Bryce, says he Bryce, Bryce, Bryce. He says he disagrees Bryce. with him. No, no, he he's does like, not. No, he's cool. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Oh. In fact, I, 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 well, let's, let's get those lyrics one more time because uh, people can, can't, uh, on the audio version, cannot see them. But we can, uh, 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 it's bomb as hell. I don't believe in Hitler. That's what I said. <laughs> That's it. Uh, so all you skins, please give me more. Hey, more. More is the important word. Where it's just like, hey, uh, Edgar. Uh, we Am had, I going we had crazy? Time or is he together. denying the existence of Hitler when no, he no, says no. I don't believe he's, in Hitler? He's saying he, That's did, what he I disagrees said. with the dogma associated with Hitler. However, Edgar, who he has previously had relations with, <laughs> please hit him up on them digits, yo. Am I wrong? Why are you defending Afro Man? No, I'm just saying, like, I, look, if you're going to get your dick sucked. Uh, Why? I <laughs> Only you would not fixate on the I don't believe in Hitler part and instead fixate on the please give He's me some head part. He's clearly saying he disagrees with the dogmatic I'm not, approach to Wait, number one, that obviously, Hitler, number Hitler one, had. obviously. Are obviously, you defending Hitler? I'm not defending. Don't you turn this back on me. <laughs> well, uh, I uh, surfaced it. That was a dick move. I surfaced it. I rescinded it. I rescinded it. That was a dick move. I'm just saying. Afferman says he doesn't believe in Hitler. That's what I just said, right? Yes. Are you saying again? I'm not saying that he it's doesn't believe in what Hitler was preaching. Uh, it, mm. What? Uh, uh, sorry, Brett. Do you have something you'd like to say on the record? I do have something that I, I'm going to be off camera when yeah. I'm asking this question. <laughs> There's two things that make me wonder because one, you're adding way more to it, saying I don't believe in Hitler. Well, you know what he said? He doesn't say that. But what? I'm it's it's he does definitely I, solicited a blowjob from a skinhead. I don't skinhead. believe in Hitler. Like that's true. And then he yeah, says, that's, "That's what I we said." Can, that. We can agree yeah, that he solicited the blowjob from a skinhead. Everybody yeah. has a problem. But the, with, but the with, second part of this is: Does is he is Afro Man saying 
that skinheads give better fellatio than anybody else and that's why why he's just trying to placate them so that they will fillet him who knew who knew that because i got high offered such a treasure trove of information i want to dissect it by a lit major this is a true fact one racist does not give a good blowjob but when four skinheads Get on Aha. your junk. Ah, hey. Yeah, I see what you did there. Bryce, what's the next topic? <laughs> no, thank you. I only needed one. That's all I needed was one. All these years, and I still don't have a boo sound effect. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> next topic. All right, hold on. Somebody's saying that according to the internet, it was originally a John Lennon lyric, and that he's copying it to point out that he disagrees with Hitler. <laughs> so again, layers on layers on layers. Credit to you, Afro man. Does I that mean know- John Lennon is pro Hitler? No, he says he doesn't believe in Hitler. Like, right. But th- it always what but if it's a response? no it's Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine everything. <laughs> Nobody will assassinate me. I'm pretty sure of it. It's me, John Lennon. Anyway, I was going to clean great. my room. <laughs> Let me cut until I naked got to my high. Wife. <laughs> Not the wife I beat, <laughs> or oh. the dude I maybe. Ca- uh, or oh, so, oh, oh, I'm behind. sorry. Did I cross the line? Too soon, man. All right. Uh, <laughs> Next oh. topic. No. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm the one in trouble. I'm trying to I'm do, the I'm one trying in to do a very All simple right. song Oi. parody. Yeah. <laughs> That's the next topic. Oi. Uh, Bryce, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Do you know what I saw on the internet today? Uh, Brian, you've got, uh, ch- children. You've got young, uh, you've got children, no. right? Are, are your children acting more British? Uh, le- uh, not that I've noticed, but now I want to call and ask if they want biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently the Wall Street Journal ran an article today saying that because of the pandemic Oh, he's actually calling Jesse. Because of the pandemic and Peppa Pig, American children are acting British and taking up a British uh, slang lingo. Such as? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we might have an actual hey, child uh, online. number one, do you want biscuits? Uh, depends on their good biscuits. Because some biscuits are so and they feel they leave a weird after film on my mouth yeah so i don't really know but okay maybe? what about tea how are you on tea grapes are you trying Oscar to make me chips. british chips, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> oh! okay. uh, do you believe in hitler okay. well, <laughs> so, <laughs> real quick peppa the pig where are you at what peppa the pig yeah okay yes or no um, well, she's kind of mean sometimes, but she's funny, so. <laughs> she is mean. Do you find yourself acting more British than you did uh, uh, at other times? Yes. Wait. <laughs> do you, do I act British sometimes? No, no, no. More because more. of Peppa. More. Since the pandemic and specifically because of Peppa Pig. Do I ask British? No, do act, I, do act. I act. Do I act British yeah. because of Peppa Pig? And because and, and by the way, before you answer, please repeat the question in a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> do I wait? I don't know if you're going to talk about Just do it. <laughs> by the way, do do your best. It's going to be funny. I've been telling your dad this for over ten years. Okay. Do I act British? <laughs> do I act British at, over the pandemic and Peppa Pig? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you, Josie. Thank you, Josie. Bye. Yay. Woo, can we give it up for Josie? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Scam Nation oh. star Josie Brushwood. <laughs> God damn. So apparently this is uh, what's what a researcher called the, I believe, the Peppa effect. But apparently between screen time going up because of the pandemic and the ubiquity of Peppa Pig, uh, uh, American children are taking on English slang like biscuits like uh optician uh, was one that they mentioned aluminium Al- yeah sure um and uh yeah it's it's interesting i don't know i thought this was uh yeah no I, I, as a matter of fact i've been meaning to ask uh oi oi what's oy. that oi hey hey oy. you cool oi <laughs> oi governor oi ah. oi 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 
Boris Johnson. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I think my kids actually were maybe ahead of that curve because they, they were adopting weird accents, uh, you know, from, uh, they watch a lot of international stuff. I mean, I would guess that, that Callie would be the one most affected because I think that you, 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 your other, your other Cal- two are, are watching like adult shit. One fucking thing. What's we, that? They've got fucking profit motive for her animal jam store. Like, like she's got fucking margins okay. and spreadsheets. Number one, number one, I, shit. I don't understand the question and I won't <laughs> respond to it. So <laughs> please explain to me what the hell you just said. Uh, animal jam is like, imagine, uh, world of warcraft but with more lifeguards right okay. uh you play an animal uh if you try to type a naughty word it'll cut you off a lot of people are watching what you're saying right yeah uh that girl is ready to make money <laughs> and i mean so money. Wait, she's like like gold farming she's like steve bannon like, yep, like she's yep, trying yep, to figure yep, out yep. a real Open profit road of hot yeah. dog stands and all the whole nine yards yeah yeah and that, that's pretty much it that's all i got damn is she it, <laughs> Is she doing it in, in peas? <laughs> Wait, how can, why do you get to do a funny oi? <laughs> like, I wanted to do a funny oi. What's what the I, next, what's what the next uh, topic? Uh, all right, our final topic this evening uh, is bump. <laughs> Eight times five equal too much? And it's not about dead mouse. Uh, uh, Bryce, what the, what the hell is going on? Two. Uh, so this is an op-ed in uh, the New York Times today uh, uh, titled, Eight Hours a Day, Five Days a Week is Not Working for Us. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. All right. Can we, can we, excuse me. Uh, okay. Hey. Hey, everybody. My name is Justin, and I'm doing a rap for Brian to go to the uh, uh, closet because he's getting a thing, when and it's a chair. He's going to sit down. I'm going to fill a little bit longer because I think there should be a camera. That goes down to Brian because he's probably going to sit down and they'll do a thing. Oh, wait, he's standing oh, he's on the chair, so it was a good move not to adjust it lower <laughs> because we're going to have to shoot Brian as he goes up uh, higher. Right. I'm still okay. going to fill no, like no, a All right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm up on my perch right now, so yeah. I have to talk down to everybody. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, g- 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 all this talk, Justin, is talking yeah. about working less. Yeah. Where you at on this idea of working less? I do it all the time. <laughs> so you're one of them. Uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm about getting your job done. So whatever it takes to get your job done is what you need. Sometimes I work a lot more. Sometimes I work a lot less. Henry Ford famously found that overtaxing employees meant led to lower productivity. Actually, the basis for the. Eight by five. You hearing this lippy motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't have brought this. I, I, I brought this on myself. I, mean, I thought that Bryce, Bryce was the only one who's actually drawing a check from Brian. Like, that right. is on Mike. That was really your bad. You really <laughs> fucked up. I Congratulations. Thought... <laughs> you played yourself. We Brian has spent the entire pandemic talking about schools and less schooling. And then it... Then... So sorry. <laughs> yeah, guess what? Brian's not a principal. He's <laughs> your boss. <laughs> Torek says my nickel is down to four pennies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one for each day you work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's headlines. Thank you. There oh we go. My God. Thank you very much, friends. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, a reminder, everybody, that you can support this show by heading on over to <laughs> patreon.com slash great night. Because at patreon.com slash great night, you can not only support the show, but also for the low, 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 low price. Again, I don't think anybody does this shit for this uh, uh, cheap on Patreon. Two bucks a week, you get a bonus episode. Sorry, who are these assholes? Throwing their shit away for two bucks a week? I'd have to punch them in their stupid face. Wait, the people that do do it or don't do it? Yeah. Who the fuck is giving away episodes at $2 a oh, fucking week? Wheel. Punch them in the face. You want to punch each other? Oh, it's us? It's us, yeah. Oh, we're so generous. We are. So generous. <laughs> Very generous. Very generous. Uh, uh, you get a bonus episode. So if you like this, then there is a, a version of uh, uh, this podcast that comes out exclusively to you on your exclusive great night RSS feed that you get from Patreon and uh, you, you get more content. It's more exclusive content 
and you support the show, which I think anybody who has watched what has gone on over the last uh, month knows is uh, 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 just a significantly more evolved show that is only getting better. If you believe in it, we believe in you. Patreon.com slash great night. Hells yeah. Hey, Bryce, you got a game for us? I do. This is from, uh, I believe, BioCal and uh, possibly Mrs. BioCal. Yes, it is. Uh, this is one of our favorite games, Celebrity Highs and Lows. All right. And by the way, do join us in playing the game. Mm -hmm. We bring on our friend and the man behind Hack 5, Darren Kitchen. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to the uh, Labor Laws Brown Table. With Brad <laughs> and Justin. By the way, I'm uh, I'm in Justin's camp. I was about to say where you sleeping tonight, but I realized you're sleeping in your own. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I might I might not be sleeping at that uh, apartment. I got very excited uh -oh. about too. Oh, oh no! Really? Uh -oh. Say, hang on. He sent me the uh, application that he would like me to send to both him and uh, the, the, the reality company. And I'm checking it out and I'm realizing this like application where they just need my social security number and all of my personal details. Uh -oh. And then I remember going in through the side door to get into the empty apartment. <gasps> and all of it is starting to feel like that time that these guys in this white van tried to sell me God some damn it. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, bro. What's the game? <laughs> By the way, uh, if you do not listen to the entire show, if you are only listening to the regular show on podcast, boy, are we on a journey that you are only getting Empire Strikes Back of. Like, <laughs> you miss Star Wars. Which is how we're going to troll them back. Actually, sure. it's it's funny you say that. We're playing Celebrity Highs and Lows Star Wars Edition. <laughs> That's, that's oh, actually real. For real. For it's real? actually real, yeah. So each, oh, my God. <laughs> so each I'm the round, greatest broadcaster of all time. <laughs> each round, I'm going to give you a... That, that's something that most greatest <laughs> broadcasters do. Remember when that classic time with Johnny shot. Carson just stopped everything to say, I'm the, awesome. I'm the great... Yeah. <laughs> I remember that time that guy was like, oh, the humanity. I'm the greatest broadcaster I'm of all time. I'm way better than him. I'm great. That's me. <laughs> Johnny Carson. Johnny, Johnny Carson, Carson going, I'm doing the best at this. <laughs> I am doing the best at this. <laughs> <laughs> A good show where the entire plot does not fly out the window. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a celebrity who is in a Star Wars movie, I believe. And you're all going to give me the height that you believe that that celebrity is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. Highs and low, like highs and like high, yeah, 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 yeah. I actors, this was like, actors I this lie like about the their height all the time. Low of their career and the highest. Oh wait, high oh, oh, you're career. like, you're like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you're like yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Mark Hamill. The uh, time he got uh, into the car accident. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, oh, <laughs> that's right. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were picking lows of their career. <laughs> that time he got to play Luke. <laughs> but so, what's so funny is everybody said, oh, and I wanted to defend you. I'm like, no, motherfucker. Why don't you soak in it a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we are going to be playing in golf rules. You get a point for every inch that you are off. <laughs> Is it, uh, sorry, hold on. Time out. Is yeah. that what golf rules are? <laughs> also, Has anybody it, it, here it, played it, golf? Also, and are the rules that you get a point for every inch that you're off? Also, is there a, 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 a very specific website where golf rules is a euphemism? <laughs> and in Canada, is it in metric? <laughs> Listen, this is what like I feel like I feel like there's like the, you know a message board somewhere talking about their plans for the Folsom Street Fair. That's like, oh, we're playing golf rules for the record, so everybody bring your cleats. <laughs> Listen, this is how BioCow and Mrs. BioCow set this up. So you get a point for every inch that you're off. The person with the lowest overall score will. Oh. Oh, the points are bad. Oh. Points are bad. Oh. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, which uh, uh, real quick side, Jack. Mm. Um, Penny has gotten full in on baseball. Oh. And, and so I found out, like, I guess they they flipped all the rules where it's like the least number of points is the winner, right? That that sounds about right. I actually haven't been in. I oh. I'm, I'm I'm actually out of the baseball thing a little bit. I'll make it's sure to tell her that you. You want to call her? That <laughs> we're gonna call her real quick. Yeah. All right, hold on. Wait, we're gonna call. Eventually, we're gonna call all the Brushwood children tonight. So this is the Empire Strikes Back of Brushwood children. <laughs> the funny is she doesn't have a phone. She only has uh, uh, 
like, like an like iPad a or a, or yeah. a um, pager. A pager. <laughs> a pager. Yeah. yeah, just make sure to text her nine one one so she knows to call back. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, you're live on the air. Uh, uh, Blaze Ball. Uh, yeah. Yes. Blaze ball. Yeah. Uh, Blaze ball. Uh, what, yeah. what? What was the deal where where having points was bad? Oh, um. Well, you see, there's there's a feud going on between the coin and the reader because the uh, coin canceled um, mm -hmm. the reading. So um, the reader is like, "That's dumb," and also all your winning things are causing the to gain e density, which is bringing consumer attacks up. So the solution was mm. that they gave us the reader gave us an option to vote for a decree called Trustfall, and when Trustfall was passed, yeah, it, um, it installed turntables into all of the um, into all of the. Um, by the way, we're getting paid a lot right now, so tell her to keep going, because this is obviously doing very well. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, Penelope, but we're making keep a lot going. of money. Stretch, keep going, stretch, stretch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so because Ratify also passed during that season, and because... Um, the, it, turntables was installed in all of the ballparks mm -hmm. uh then that meant that it was ratified it's a non-physical law for the I whole i don't know what's going on they keep and paying what, us and what uh, uh turntables did was every time a, a, a team would have earned a win mm -hmm. by a, a non-loss they, yep. they instead gained a negative unwin um uh, uh, sorry you, a negative unwin yeah yes which brings you your win count into the negatives mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so so that's bad right um yes except uh yes so except when it's golf rules yeah so you got a net okay throw. okay uh, uh, uh penny penny negative. penny hold on yes. uh we're we're at a level four hype train so i need you to go for like at least another level so just keep going okay and at the end of that, um, the options were to. The best thing is how they're um, we're not doing trying to lose by um, getting negative ones now because um, the next election the coin was like, no, uh, this is bad, and gave us the option to repeal turntable. <laughs> did not vote it. To read us through it, another new, <laughs> another new decree. That was just like that was just another. Um, Gosh, I forgot what it was called. It was unwitting the under bracket. And after that election, the option, the under bracket was added, which is basically just a completely separate championship for the worst teams. And oh. this is the best part. Sun, parentheses, sun, or sun squared, was set in the sky, which means all wins are squared, meaning they have to be positive. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 Penny, thank you yes. so much. We've now cleared all the hype trains. Uh, uh, have a good night. Uh, I love you, sweetie. Thank you. She was correct, by the way. She's she nailed it. As far as I'm aware, she completely oh, nailed with 100 percent oh. accuracy. The, the oh, Lord. Bryce, it's all in black and white. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she nailed it. In the pocketbook. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations, <laughs> audience. Penny explains Blaze Ball is now the first segment every week. <laughs> Six hours of Benny explaining Blaze Ball is the show from now on. I don't think we've ever done anything more financially lucrative than let... I mean, holy shit. Kelly's got big shoes to fill. Big shoes to fill. Because I'm going to need at least 75 bucks out of that girl immediately. On the quick. Oh. Oh. Uh, I think we're I think we're playing a game. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're playing Celebrity Highs and Lows Star Wars Edition. Just in case, let's just roll it back, everybody. I'm going to give you ready. the name let's of go. a celebrity who was in a Star <laughs> War, and you're going to tell me how tall they are. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, and Brett, you you can oh you can see the screen. So yes, I okay. can. Yeah. Great. So we're going to start it with round one. Here on Celebrity Highs and Lows Star Wars Edition, we're going to start with Brian. Ready. Thank you, audience. I would love you to tell me how tall our friend Mark Hamill is. Brian, how tall is Mark oh, Hamill? Oh, dude. 
old old Mark. <laughs> Mm-hmm. As the nickname, his famous no, nickname, no. yeah, old Mark. old Mark. Uh, Sweet. I, I I feel like uh, uh, I should get a phone a friend here. I I, I wish <laughs> I knew somebody Callie? in this room who <laughs> hmm. very likely has done voice work with Mark Hamill. Uh, okay, well, if you'd like to use I your phone a friend, wish. <laughs> ah, okay, Brian's okay. phone a friend, yeah, and the I answer is no, I no, wish. No, you know what? I'm gonna call. <clears throat> do, do, do. You're gonna call another call friend. Cali brush. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you actually calling her? Yeah. All right, here we go. Here, here we go. Here we go. We're bringing this bit into the station. <laughs> See if she. Everybody aboard the hype train again. <laughs> I guess we still have two minutes on a hype train, so yeah. Let's All right, just, just name name your guest. Name your guest. We'll keep going. Uh, it is definitely uh, whatever this girl says. Here you go. How old is Ellie again? <laughs> Eight. We're waiting for an eight. Who is this? This is this is your dad. Question. I want Wait, you to no, picture. I'm not Callie. Hold on, I'm not. I'm not Callie. <laughs> I'm not Callie. Oh, sorry. It sorry. was the the Callie. semi-profitable that's one. Callie, Callie, what? <laughs> that's Callie. That's Callie. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Calliope. Yes. Okay. You you've seen the Mandalorian, right? Yeah. Remember, ba- baby Yoda is really small. Yes. Okay. Remember. There was like a weird faced dude that showed up at the end of the series. Uh, no. He had a How green, tall he, was he? He had a green <laughs> lightsaber. Oh, uh, oh my thing, god. So... That was the most profitable of all. Uh, okay. so... how, how tall do you think that guy was? Six baby Yodas. <laughs> how, how tall how is a tall baby, is Yoda? baby Yoda? <laughs> um, baby Yoda. <laughs> two house baby Yoda. <laughs> Pretty smart. That's smart. Excellent. That one. That's correct. Right. Actually, she's <laughs> right on that one. All right, yeah. all right. thank she you, nailed it. Uh, yeah. You can't beat a hundred percent, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with six. Oh baby my Yoda. God! <laughs> By the way, the financial exploitation of your children on this show has become extraordinarily <laughs> lucrative. <laughs> So much so that I totally get where you went with Scam Nation. <laughs> Six Baby Yodas, final answer. I, what is it? Come on. Come on. Uh, I, I don't know. What, what? Baby Yoda's a foot tall, so six feet. Six feet. Six, six feet. feet. All right, there we yeah. go. Six zero. Thank you very much, Brian. Six Baby Yodas. Six Baby Yodas. Uh, Justin, how tall do you think Mark I believe uh, uh, Mark Hamill is five foot four. Five four. Uh, Darren, you're in the money me? slot today. Darren. Yeah. Uh, five, you. six, <laughs> but in parentheses, so it's a positive. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> if I've learned anything tonight. <laughs> Squared times one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got, uh, we've got everybody's answers in here. I'm going to uh, show this here so Brett can see the scores. All right. Uh, the answer we were looking for is... Five foot nine. Ah, Brian and Darren get some points. Justin gets a few more points. What what do those points look like, Brett? Uh, if I is that correct, what I'm looking at right there? Yeah, they're golf rules. Yeah, inches are like dollars. Exactly. The worms yeah. are also inch. dollars. Okay. All right. Well, this has been fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Brian, you have one point. Yes. Darren, you have three points. Oh, Justin, Justin, you have five points. Oh, uh, point, oh points fuck, are fuck, bad. Fuck, fuck, Ooh, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah. All right, I just wrong? remembered something. I, I forgot there are twelve inches in a foot. It's God damn it's, it! I, I was hoping you wouldn't figure that part out. Yeah, Sorry, I actually, that. the moment you, the I reason you said it, and I, I did the math, and I wasn't and I was just like, I wasn't sure because so, we have it here, <laughs> and I thought that's, that's not so. Right. so uh, Thank you, by I've been out of college for a while. Three, three points. All right. Also, I just remembered something. That's right. What are we doing? We this have week? consequences on these games now. Oh! We do. And our new director of consequences is 
Professor Brett. Snape. <laughs> uh, Brett, after our first round, where we know that I am now losing. Yes. What is our consequence for this game? I feel that the consequence should be mm. that the winner gets to pick which silly hat the loser will wear for the rest of the show. Ooh, silly hat consequence. Yes. Okay. All right. Just so we're clear. First time. <laughs> Shot to the nuts. Sure. Yeah. Second time. Sure. Snorting beer. Third yeah, time. Yes. One I won. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. No consequences. Uh -huh. Fourth time. Yeah. Where yeah. I seem teed up to fucking crush this asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The We're penalty getting... will be to wear a silly no, 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 hat. No, 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 no. Oh no! <laughs> My <laughs> reputation <laughs> in all the salons will be ruined. It's fine. They'll all know that I'm silly hat man. <laughs> May, may I oh, what Fine. an inappropriate chapeau may they'll say behind my back. This is the plot of Cruella. <laughs> may, may I defend myself? May the master of consequences defend himself? Because yeah. 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 if I do nut shots, I, the don't first believe thing, I would just like to say, <laughs> if I do lighting someone on fire or nut shots or cutting off a finger as a consequence, the first show that I'm the master of consequences, yeah. I am so screwed, no. and then this will be my last show. <laughs> or, 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 you, you, have, you can only a, go up a, from here. I, yes. I, 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 yeah. I follow. We're I'm building. We, it can't all be nut shots every week. Yes. <laughs> it shouldn't be. It can't all be nut shots. <laughs> Julie, every week, if they can't be nut shots, Every week we're talking about every. Are you not going to join in? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> trying to make a theme song. Oh, oh no! I was doing a, an actual song. Oh, it's like a, I think a Moldy Peaches song. Anyway, <laughs> hipster dickhead, that's me. Okay, okay, uh, let's go. All right, our next uh, celebrity Star War is. One, Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher. We're looking for how tall Carrie Fisher is. Justin, we're going to start with you. How tall? She's really short. Nick. I believe that Carrie Fisher is 5'1". Five 5'1", one. Five one, he says. All right, uh, Darren. Carrie Fisher is 5'4 on a good day. 5'4 on a good day. All right, Brian. How tall is Miss Carrie Fisher? Two inches and packed in two. God damn it. No. All right. Okay. All You're right. going to get a lot uh, five, of points five, if you two, do that. Five, two. Five, two. <laughs> five, two. Five, yeah. two. All right. There we go. Kind of a middle middle of the so round. Now your full game theory. <clears throat> All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> One of you is exactly correct. Uh, Brett, why don't you tell us uh, first who's getting the most points this round? Who's getting the most points? Which uh, are bad, by Looks the way. like it will be Darren. Darren, oh. on you with all those points. Darren oh, has gained three yeah, points. Yeah, baby. Dar Darren's getting three points. Who's Brian, getting? You have gained one point. Ugh. And that means our correct answer is okay. Justin. Oh. Five one. Fuck That's yeah. Right. Five foot Back one in inches. The game, baby. That's it. That's it. Oh, you're all gonna wear a penny hat to her. <laughs> one of you two actually no one knowing that it's only gonna escalate from here i'm actually pretty stoked to wear it silly <laughs> <laughs> all right let's take a look at the scoreboard after the first after the second round brett yes uh well let's see brian you have four points now okay yeah Darren, you have six points now. Oh, gross. Mm. So many points. I think it's time to bring back the nut shot. And <laughs> Justin, you are still at five points. Ah, just flopping all over. Look at them points. Look at them. Look at <laughs> how them. Quickly, look at them go. How look. quickly the, the worm turns With for the, Mr. Yes. Brushman. I mean, look, this is all I'm going to get out of this experience. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's go to round three here. I'm going to start with Darren on this one. Darren, I'd love you to, for you to tell me how tall Adam Driver is. Adam Driver. Oh, uh, he, he's a he's a he's a tall drink of water. This guy. Yeah, dude. It's Nobody bad. believes he fit inside that Yoda costume. <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking advantage of the fact that Darren has seen very very few movies? <laughs> Man, I'll take whatever I can get. <laughs> it, it usually works, but there's like a soft spot for the, you know, for the, for the, for the Star Wars. Yeah, you saw all the new Star Wars, I, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, he did the live audio long listeners. And he just did the live long and prosperous <laughs> times. <laughs> and uh, also with you. <laughs> and that's it, and we didn't see him together. The new Star Wars. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get better and better. 
Are you like, saying we uh, scissored? Like, yeah, Darren, they say, and with your soul now. Come on. Uh, all right, we're looking for Adam Driver. How tall is Mr. Adam Driver? He's, uh, Do you know who Adam Driver played in Star Wars? He's, yeah. the, he's the Phillips head guy. Phillips head. <laughs> but did Phillips. you know his name? Yes, the name? No, he no. Goes, he goes, no, absolutely not. You have no idea no. what the name of Adam Driver... Do you know him from anything else? He's the mermaid. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. He's, he says, I am the mermaid. <laughs> he's, he's Kylo Ren. Hey! hey! Right? Like the Ren, which is spelled like oh siren. And oh, it's a Jesus. mermaid. Wow. Personal conversation we had last night that would require a lot of explanation <laughs> that you're looking at me like I'm going to react to. <laughs> uh, 5'11. 5'11. Thank you very much, Darren. Nice, guys. Brian, <laughs> did you just say blue sky? No, did you? You did Darren. though. I heard you say it. Uh, <laughs> Is that his height? Five, five ten. He's gonna say five ten. Justin, nine eleven. <laughs> <laughs> You said you'd never forget. <laughs> you really know how to get to Mr. 9-11, don't you? Oh, you cut on by. Fuck this game. I'll wear that. It's worth it. Darmok and Tanagra. <laughs> <laughs> John Darmok gets the line. Come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All Shaka right. Uh, when the walls fell. Uh, I guess I'm going to put in an answer of 9 feet 11 inches. <laughs> All right. I'm going to input the answers, show Brett the scores here. Ah, oh, crap. I got to click the right thing. So uh, this is going to shake up the boards a little bit, I think. <laughs> At the end of round three. <laughs> Adam Driver is Ooh. six foot two inches. Where does that put our players, Brett? I don't know. Uh, well, Justin, man, oh, wait, that's not right. That's not right. Oh, uh, yeah, Brian there. has. He was uh, only eight. ten inches from no, being Brian having his nickname be Building points. Seven. God damn it, Darren has do it. nine <laughs> points. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Justin, you have fifty points now. <laughs> Well, well. Anyway, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> That's right. We're looking. For, we were looking for six foot two. Six foot two. <laughs> Adam Driver. How do you guys feel so far about uh, your so score? So far, so good. Oh, Loving it. Oh, Living the dream. All right. Confident. Obviously, Justin wants me to make higher stakes. Oh, look, number one, I don't give a shit, man. We just milk the Brushwood kids for yeah. solid 50 dollars. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just really pumped. Like, this is my new money-making venture. Like, I'm going to drop out of all this other shit. I just realized that if we let the Brushwood kids talk with no script, money just falls out of the sky. <laughs> now, you got to think of an art question so we can call Bonnie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, wait, I mean, I, we, we, we've worked her for years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Please. If you uh, divide the golden ratio, buy a baby. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> All right, round four. We're going to start with Brian on this one. Brian, I'd love for you to tell me how tall. <laughs> Tonight to 50. <laughs> uh, I'd love for you to tell me how tall Kenny Baker is. Kenny <laughs> Baker. Kenny Baker, of course, star of the amazing movie Time Bandits. Yep. Yes. Doctor Who. Three foot... Seven inches. Three foot seven, he says. Just never. That's forget. small. That's a small boy. Yeah, Very small. Three seven. Three seven. <sighs> three seven. Justin. Three seven. Three seven. Four. Three seven. Three seven. Three seven. <laughs> Is your answer going to be four feet twenty inches? No, that, okay. that is the equivalent. I have to be five foot two, four foot two, four foot two, four two. All right. Yeah. Would you like put me the to zero, zero at the end four in your heart? Point uh, yeah, I have to put it in my heart because I think it will yeah. mess up the math. Put it in your heart, Darren. How tall do you think Mr. Kenny Baker is? I really liked him as BB eight, <laughs> but R two D two is pretty good too. Was he rolling around inside of BB eight? I think. It's the only way it makes What's, sense. What would be amazing is if, like, he did nothing 
but they just felt the need to put him in there. <laughs> <laughs> and they rolled or, him around. Or, 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 I would like love if, it, if it was something yeah, like, kick him off camera. <laughs> I would love if it was a union role, like yeah, it was yeah, like, fully robotic, <laughs> but they're like, like Oi, oh, you got to <laughs> put uh, Baker in there. Here, it's Kevin, <laughs> That's a uh, it's, it's Kevin Baker. <laughs> Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go with uh, 83 centimeters. God damn it! Don't, don't, no, no! You don't, don't make him do, do math. Just say yeah. it. Eighty-three it's centimeters in inches. Got I got it. I got it. Thirty-two point six inches. All right. Thank you very much for. What the fuck is that in English? I, no one <laughs> is, is really quite one? sure. Um, <laughs> we could is that in English? <laughs> we could be here all night trying to figure that one. Yeah. yeah. Science, science yeah. still doesn't science. know. Science still doesn't know. Oh, this is really gonna fuck up the board quite a lot. That yeah! answer, Darren. Uh, all right, the answer that we were looking for was three, three foot, foot eight. Eight. Brian's God gonna damn get Brian. one point on yeah. that one. Yeah, you're doing really well. Yeah, dude, I'm like antimatter for points. They try to get close and then they Repel. annihilate <laughs> themselves. I think Ooh. I don't know. And then my mass is re- reduced. Okay. Yeah. I make it sound and then, for you. And then I do time bandits. There, there you go. Wait, I, uh, I don't think that happens. Time bandits. <laughs> okay. Do I just keep going? Yeah, keep going. No. Yeah, keep, oh, keep going. <laughs> to be honest with you, right. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm doing Foley. I'm doing Foley. I'm doing Foley. I'm doing Foley. of Time Bandits. Right. As, Bart, as, go as, ahead. Go ahead. Go, fact, go, go, go. I'll, I'll get Mike out here with a guitar, oh. and I will sing the song of Time Bandits. Can you explain to me as a, as a non oh. You're not bandit. on. It's Wait, his turn. It. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects. You no, just start I'm, I'm talking. Thinking as a small British kid. Uh, hit me up. Hit me up. Oh, I hate my parents. They watch game shows all the time. Hey, fuck you. Price is right. Oh, I'm gonna go to bed, and I certainly hope some interdimensional time bandits don't show up. Fuck you all. Ah, fuck you all. Believe time what just happened. Bandits have arrived. Ah. Well, whatever you do, don't take me with you through your. Uh, oh wait, we're we're now in Robin Hood times. Ah, John Cleese, why are you here? I'm John Cleese. Shelley Duvall. I'm I, Shelley Duvall. I thought you were destroyed by Alfred Hitchcock. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm Shelley Duvall. I'm not <laughs> crazy. I'm mad. All right. Well. Uh, uh, we're, Let's say we get separated and I go see Agamemnon. Bye. Sean Connery? Why are you Agamemnon? I'm Sean. I'm Agamemnon. Uh, sometimes you have to hit him with an open fan slap. Actual thing I said to Barbara Walters. Look it up, kids. Oh dear! Uh, I hope I stay with you forever, and those time bandits don't come back. Seems like a puzzling decision, but <laughs> sure, let's go with it. <laughs> oh wait, who are these? They're oh. the time bandits. <laughs> wait, oh, don't take me away from Agamemnon. <laughs> Uh, now we're on the Titanic. <laughs> Shelly Duvall, why are you here again? I'm mad! <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's an honor to keep playing with you. <laughs> oh, wait. We're on a giant's head. I am <laughs> on my head. Now we're encountering the devil, only they call him evil. Also, it's Sark from Tron. I think he's in that picture over there. You will know that my name is the devil. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, what? I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> evil? What, what was it? Evil. You're evil. I am evil. Yeah, right, right. Uh, Apparently, the devil was copyrighted. <laughs> don't, don't worry. We brought uh, heroes from throughout time. Here's some cowboys. <laughs> and some knights. <laughs> Those are cowboys. 
No, it was the Knights. Yeah, Knights. You threw it some oh, yeah. <laughs> Cowboys, the Knights, uh, and uh, uh, la- laser tanks. Pew, 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 yep, pew, yep, yep, yep. All right. We're from the future. Everyone's non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now God's here. Oh, it is I, God. Apparently, we got the rights to my name. <laughs> And, and God weirdly is undisturbed by anything and is just like, oh, oh goodness, what a bother. Everybody go home. Sup, fam? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> and then God goes away and the kid goes home. That's time, Ben. God so, goes to yeah. sleep? Where did you go? We was watching prices right. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, actually, that's that's astonishingly close to how the movie ends. Yeah. Less bits than your kids. <laughs> Less bits than your kids. Went on a full fucking extended improv. Less bits than fucking Josie explaining Blaze Ball. God damn it. Ball body what have we way. done for 10 fucking years? We finally do what everybody wanted. We go on a long form improv thing and less goddamn bits than the, 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 the tween talking about Blaze Ball. Hey, can you prove a point real quick? <laughs> Uh, literally just make up a limerick. Whatever limerick you want. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> just there any once limer- yes, was once. a there once was a man named Brushwood. Yes, Never felt are. lower. <laughs> he brushed all the brush that he could. I used to be a comedian. <laughs> Keep going. He Tossed it in the air. Yep. Fuck me. He didn't have a care. Jesus yep. Christ. And it no, God damn it. On oh, his no. tush wood. <laughs> there you go. I've Give been on answer. billboard. You can $100. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 gift subs to the community. Oh. This is a great show. This is a great show. What's the next challenge? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were looking at the scores from Kenny sure. Baker. Uh, <laughs> Brett, where, just what are the standings but right before now? Before I announce the final score, I would just like to say that through this whole bit that y'all just did, <laughs> it, was just, it was just fun watching Darren go, what? Huh? <laughs> what? Uh-huh. Darren's been friends with both of us for a long time. This Dar- is nothing. Dar- Darren's new. known the score like for I'm quite just a while. I'm going to hold still and wait <laughs> yeah. for this to be over. Yeah. So, uh, all right. I, so, final watching. scores. <laughs> final scores. Final scores. Final scores. Well, just this round. Oh, yeah. This oh. round. I thought we were done. Sorry. Oh no. We'll have one, one more round. round. One, one more, more round. round. Uh, but the scores going into that final round <laughs> are <laughs> are. Uh, let's see. We have Brian. With uh, nine points, very very few herpes. We have uh, we have Darren with sixteen point eight. That's a lot points. of herpes. Yeah. And uh, there's Justin with fifty six. Fifty six herpes. That's a lot of herpes. But uh, but fifty six. All of Brian's the new children have made more money tonight <laughs> than. Uh, I mean, that's all Justin. I care about. God damn it! All these brushwood women, all they do is make us money. <laughs> let, I mean, let me know if you want to get into ransomware. Yeah. <laughs> it might be more lucrative than I d- comedy. I do feel like we just stumbled into something here. <laughs> I, 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 uh, yeah, not it's apparently sense. not fucking improv. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and go fuck yourself. <laughs> Eat shit, Del Close. Yes, and my Bank of America routing number is. <laughs> and it's not. All right, final, final thing. Let's go. Kids. All right, final Let's get round. Done with this. Humiliating charade. Final round of celebrity highs and lows. Uh, we are, uh, are going to start with Justin because he's uh, uh, in last place. I'd love for you to tell me how tall our friend Greg Grunberg is. Greg Grunberg, who is a steeple. Motherfucker from Felicity. Mm-hmm. Now, he's the only person that I've actually stood next to. <laughs> Should be easy for you. He's taller than me. Is he? Believe so. Ooh. The seeds of doubt have been. Keep sown. on believing that. Ooh. You want to call your mom? <laughs> 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 Look what you did! Oh, he's doing that. 
mom and dad brush for at home. <laughs> Justin, while he does this, you call Wells Fargo, open up a new account. I know. I'm going to need for all this money. <laughs> oh, he's doing that. Uh, 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 5-11. 5-11. That's great. Thank you. Mm. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Taylor, why don't you go while he's doing yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. This is six foot and a, and a shave of a Grogu. Okay, I'm going to say six and a half an inch. How about that? 6.5. Oh, Greg Grumberg. Uh, <laughs> oh, Greg's really going to bring the money in. I love it if nobody gave a bit. <laughs> International celebrity Greg Grumberg. <laughs> He's letting it ring though. Mm -hmm. He really cares about Brian because if he doesn't answer and he let it ring that much, he wants to know that like, oh no, we're, we're cool. That's a pro. That's an LA pro right there. <laughs> Those are LA pro rings. Leave a message and... Oh, no. Nah. And it's Greg Grunberg's answering machine, though. For the record, that is that was not a bit. Hello. Hello there, sir. Uh, hey, is this cue ball? Yes, sir. Uh, all right, you'll do. Uh, <laughs> you're live on the air. <laughs> well, fucking A. Thank uh, you very much. We're, we're live on the air. I was trying to call mom and dad, but 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 uh, how tall do you think somebody whose name is Greg Grunberg is? Six foot one. Yep. All right. Thanks. That'll do. I love you. Bye. All right. Six one. Six one. Why did... Uh, okay. Uh, apparently, Brian used everyone's phone a friend lifeline tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the way, can I just say, the shot we just had of Brian is maybe the most confident I've ever seen you. <laughs> like, that was, that, was, that was you at the peak of your powers calling Greg Grumberg to ask him how, high, how, how, how tall he really is yeah. and fucking nailing it. Yeah. Give the man his fucking money. All right. And Brian has said six foot one. Yep. Uh, <laughs> one of you is exactly <laughs> correct. With an answer of five foot... 1361, that's the oh, Brian win. Yeah. Thank you, Coop. Oh, yes, you all. There we go. No, hey. Nobody's going to celebrate for me. Just Yay. No, no. What, are, what are we against each other now? I, I can't celebrate. Yay. All right. It was supposed to be no, more tepid. I need more tepid applause. We're all happy yeah. for you. Brett, take us to the final score. The final score. The final score is. Uh, Brian has nine points. Very few. Darren has 17.3 points. And Justin brought it on home with a fantastic 58 points. There we go. Congratulations. Okay, to wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. What if, based on Josie's explanation, uh -huh. we took a vote <laughs> to have points reverse oh. the way they did in place ball? And all of a sudden, my amount of points was more than Brian's amount of points because it reversed. That was Penny's explanation, but oops. I'll tell you what. I'm going to call Penny right now. Oh, God damn it. No, 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 and, no, no, and, no, no. And if no. she allows it, it'll it was become Penny. true. No, 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 no. I, now I actually feel bad. I, I named Josie instead of Penny. All right, go. Uh, Brian wins. Everybody, big round of applause. Yeah. All right. Which one of these has spikes on the inside? Uh, all of them. As I see, he's picking his hat right Oh, here. Now. Come on up. Come on up. Right, come on, on up, up to the stage, here. Brett. Uh, here, 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 yep. Here, yep. There we go. So, Brian. Yes? Since you are the winner. Yes? You get to figure out how to hat. Which hat? Hat the system. Yes. We have. What? Uh, oh, you are fabulous. Yes. We have witch's hat. Yes. We witch have hat, bicycle it. helmet. Yes. And we have. Space specimen. Space helmet. Space helmet. Oh, Justin's getting the space helmet. There oh, backwards. Yes. Oh. That's going to be impediment to the recording. There we uh, oh, there we go. Uh, now, you know what? Just for safety. There, there it is. All right. There we go. Thank you, Brett, for. Ladies and gentlemen, just Robert Young. Woo! I'm in space, baby. I'm in space. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> you definitely sound like you're. Do I sound like I'm in space? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad. We hear, we hear is this a good it. gimmick? Like, I, it's actually gimmick? pretty good. I remember when that was built. We used that for something, for some other video, and we had the same exact thing. It makes you sound like you're in fucking space. It makes you sound like you're in space, huh? <laughs> Just, do me a favor. Maybe Describe something in, amazing. Like you're seeing something can we amazing. Do the entire like, time band it's been again. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it'll make our, money with that. Uh, uh, just give me a summary of time bandits in three sentences. Oh, so time bandits, man, is this movie where uh, uh, there's a bunch of small people and they're going through time and there's a bunch of stuff and there's probably a MacGuffin and it was a Terry Gilliam movie and then next thing you know. Uh, uh, Sean Connery slapped the lady and uh, uh, bragged about it to we Barbara got Walters. We got Here we go! Gold, my friend! Yeah. The devil was there! And yeah. the God showed up! Yeah. And they took a reverse order that made points mean negative points! <laughs> and I played Animal Jam! And I told these motherfuckers that if you want to buy a hot dog, you're gonna pay market rate! <laughs> Wow, I actually hear myself, and I'm very annoying. <laughs> I now actually understand everybody's problem with me. Congratulations to Brian Brushwood for winning our game. One more Yay! time, everybody. Give it up for us. Why the stakes were so high? Hold on. Just going to call Callie real quick. Okay, well, well uh, maybe. Well. <laughs> She's supposed to be in sleep. Oh, well. Wake her up. Like, Is this a test? I don't know. Here you go. No. I know the rules. Maybe. She's in S7 sleep mode. S, S Club 7. She's in sleep Delta mode. sleep right Jesus. now. <laughs> yeah, I think we're... All right. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, how about this? Yeah. Uh, uh, we go ahead and bring on a longtime friend. Uh, only on if he's show. super talented. Uh, somebody that has not only been a part of this program through NSFW show, through Night Attack, and now making his debut on Great Night, the one, the only author of our lullaby for all of those shows, including this one, Mike T. V. Yay! Woo! Oh, there he goes. Hey guys! Hey everybody! Yeah, just take that center uh, mic. We'll we'll, yeah. we'll get you set up while you, you, you get seed or or, or, or or what what can we do to set you up? Okay, cool. And and here I'll I'll just aim this right at your guitar. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm playing I'm playing new material. I mean not not completely brand new, but but songs I don't have I don't have uh, memorized just yet. Um. Hey, Brian, Brian, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't. Say I'm not doing. <laughs> yeah, here I can. Yeah, just yeah, if you want to position sort of not not at the hole, but just just to the thing. Heck yeah, man! Well, uh, this has been a great night. I can't believe it. Yeah, but fuck yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, man, I, I, I'm loving. I'm, I really love the new layout. It's absolutely awesome. This is uh, so I, I, I've been uh. I, I've written, <laughs> I, I was writing a whole bunch this year. I've written uh, 53 or 54 songs this year. My intention is to write 104 by the end of the year. I, I want to write two songs a, two songs a, a week, but uh, I kind of fell off on that. But, um, but this is a song I wrote um, a little while ago. She's been getting on, she's been getting off, she's been getting around. She's been coming up, she's been coming down, she's been coming around. Oh, oh she knows what she wants, and she gets what she got when she gets up on top. You can't get in her way unless you're willing to pay, unless you give what you got. I'm telling you, man, this girl, she can't be stopped. She can't be stopped. She can't be stopped. She can't be stopped. She's been on the prowl. She's a hunter now. And she's been ready to pounce. She's a killer, son. And you better run. You better run. You better get on out. 
She's more deadly than fire, and she knows how to burn. This is something you'll learn. And she ain't gonna stop till she gets what she got, till she got what you got. I'm telling you, man, this girl, she can't be stopped. 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 And when she's got you, oh, you're gonna, but she's you're gonna do some blood. And that is turning, that's just burning, that's just burning, that's just something that you love it, that you love to love and love it, whoa. She's been coming on, she's been coming out, she's been getting around. She's been looking up, she's been looking down, she's been looking around. Oh, she knows she's a god, you're gonna get up on top, yet she ain't gonna stop. You can't get in the way unless you're willing to pay, unless you give what you got. I'm telling you, man, this girl, she can't be stopped. 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 She's unstoppable. Yeah. Let me do a little adjusting so I can actually read the lyrics. <laughs> Mike TV, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mike, these are our new songs. Of course, you do new songs all the time when you stream yeah. on your Twitch. Where can people find that? Um, so, uh, Mike TV Live uh, is my uh, my so it's Twitch you know dot TV forward slash Mike TV Live, uh, and I do normally traditionally I stream five days a week, Monday through Friday. Like it allows me to kind of stay on top of my music and. Because I do, I have I have over 430 songs, uh, uh, original compositions. You haven't have seen amount of songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you mean, have I mean, so it's, many it's songs disgusting. that it's... many people are many people are saying that you have too many songs. Yeah, uh, no, but but you don't care. Yeah, no, yeah. In fact, that's that's the thing is is that for me, it's my favorite thing. To, I, I, I it's my favorite thing to do. It's how I chronicle my life. It's what I do to. It's it's my therapy. It's my you know yeah. So and, and it's just fun. And so uh, yeah. And so I, I and so yeah. I, and it's. I know I'm super saturated in the market, but that's okay. You no, know, because that's what I do. You're doing an amazing job. Anybody who follows you knows that. Uh, what do we got oh, here? You ain't wearing no goofy hat. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I left my goofy hat in the car, alas. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, well, how, how would you set up this song? Okay, so uh, so I wanted to write a COVID song. Like, like I've, I've got I've got two or three songs. Like, you know, because people were writing about like. Oh, I'm walking down the street. There's no one around, and I was like, "This is fucking obvious stuff, man." So yeah. I wanted to write. I wanted to write a song that was that with, was with like a little mystery to it. Yeah, there was a yeah, little, and, little, and, and a little, little and a little joyful fun because you know because oh. COVID was it was it was a good time, man. <laughs> I hope I hope we get to we, I get to we hope we get to repeat it uh, on, in, the, in the next few weeks. With on this that, new... I'm gonna moonwalk on out of here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be all right, everything's on fire The ship is going down and the flames are climbing higher But we'll be all right, what else can we do? The ship is going down, but baby you look beautiful I love the way the flames light your face Oh, 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 darling you're so beautiful I love just how the fire lights you now Oh, 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 darling you're so beautiful We're gonna be alright, there's chaos in the streets The buildings they are burning and we're running from the heat But we'll be alright, there's nothing left to do Burn baby burn and love you are beautiful Embrace the fire, burning desire Oh, 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 darling you're so beautiful I just can't wait, oh I'm on fire Oh, 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 darling you're so beautiful Ah, ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on fire. We're 
gonna be alright The world's gone insane We're gonna steal a car and then we're gonna make a getaway We'll be alright What else can we do? Everything's on fire But baby you look beautiful I love the way the flames light your face Oh, oh, oh Darling you're so beautiful I love just how the fire lights you now Oh, oh, oh Darling we're so beautiful Ah and gentlemen we are on fire ladies and gentlemen we are on fire <laughs> ladies and gentlemen michael dot television also uh we legitimately are on fire please move to the exits they're in the back <laughs> To the right. Uh, I'll tell you what was on fire. That song, my friend. Hey, right on. Man, yeah. Emoji. Yeah, yeah that's, I, that's I was, how I would describe it. I was like, it's kind of. Uh, we're 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 gonna hang a bit uh, for the after show, but in the meantime, Justin, what yeah. did we learn tonight? Uh, uh, we learned that uh, uh, I have a, a large echo. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's hard to focus, huh? It is. It is. Uh, 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 we also learned the rules of baseball. Uh, in, in, I, in, in, uh, I'm not entirely sure we did. Can I, can I just say that, that when she started speaking, I was afraid I was suffering from a stroke for a little while because I'm like, I'm like, I know all the word definitions. They don't, when strung together, they make no sense. And I really was for a little while. I was like, am I, am I hearing these right? What is going on? I, I, I was like, I, oh, I'm stroke. But yeah, my, it wasn't my, stroke. My favorite part is that Bryce, who introduced us to baseball, at some point, he lost the thread. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was the part that blew me away. They've been <laughs> doing a lot in the past few months. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you this much. Uh, we, we learned that uh, seeing Darren Kitchen was a treat. And, yes, uh, pack5.org, everybody. Four episodes. Five. We're four in. Four in. Four, four in. Uh, 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 we learned that uh, uh, Greg Grenberg is willing to give his real hideout on the internet. Wait. Oh, it's been a great night. Oh, is I, that your dad? Great, Wait, what? Oh. Who said that Greg Grenberg was 6'1 when you called him? Oh. I did. I, that was a guess. <laughs> oh no no no! That that that, that was cue ball. Cue ball. Cue ball is the guy watching mom and dad's place while they're still at the family reunion. That's what's going on. All right. <laughs> that wasn't Greg Grumberg. That like your your nickname for Greg Grumberg is not cue ball. <laughs> you know what? Let's add that to the lore. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay. <laughs> so there we go. We learned that. <laughs> that somebody named Q-Ball is watching Brian's parents' house. Yes. That's right. <laughs> we learned that we love you guys very much. Shine on you, crazy divers. Uh, it's been a great night. <laughs> No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>